Let's have a heart to heart with Armin Williams. Oh, hey guys. Sorry, US soccer team. I, I'll pause that. I know uh, in your mind you've probably seen that header and that game tying goal over and over and over the last 24 hours. Publicly, you're saying, hey, let's get past it. And that's great. I'm not past it. Uh, here's the deal. So you played in a rainforest on Sunday. You're tired. You're exhausted. Glenn Dipsy looks like he got in a wreck twice. God bless America. So Germany is a much better team. We all agree with that. Can you guys, and remember this is coming from white tuba boy, okay? Tuba player, no athletic ability whatsoever, no soccer background. Well, with all that being said, does it somehow work where you, as Team USA, can, you know, meet Germany, I don't know, in a, in a back alley or in a pub or wherever you guys do it in Rio? Maybe. Do, 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 right? Talk to Germany. Germany. If we tie this thing up, if we draw, we're both in. Let's just pass a lot. Let's call it opposite Carmelo Anthony Day. Let's just share the ball distribute with each other, not really attack. Because if you make that deal with Germany, it's good for them too. Why? Because they can stay fresh as well. Suddenly they're bringing in their backups, you're bringing in your backups, both countries are happy because we're advancing. Why, why bring, why bring you know, this hostility amongst each other when it doesn't have to be there? Germany, US, together, we bond in one game so we can both move on. Makes sense to me. USA. Go get him, baby. This has been a Heart to Heart with Armin Williams. Tune in every weekday from 3 to 7 for Armin and Levac on your home for New York sports. 104.5 The Team.